served. Is there? Must be hearing things, but for a moment. Here we are, the Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Nar Shadda's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. I plotted a course for the refugee sector and we should the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. She walks upon the smuggler's moon. She is not to be harmed. Observe her, track her, but do not eclipse her movements, or I shall eclipse yours. <coughs> The 
Tarana Mosibu and Asarans, Krema Sukun Ratungala, Chawi Moju Kosaracha, Bo Mababe want to Susi to Karata, to Estrek Ponatada be Maba Jokto, to Renibu in Turata Sisi Naboro Kra. Request. If Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. Kavadumpe Masuraku, Popayi Botenya, Tachimorota Gamsa, Javasko Bosabjo, Rijiso Karvenokso, Mochitosa Sagrindeo Kichunoka Gamirenito, Renfiloso Ni Hekuchupanaret, Atamakcha. The Hupu Botenyo go Jucho Picha, when Taba ni Sochu, Norotoga Proto Lala Shishi, Juba Dosa Jibacha, Ratakman San, Tokosha na Chitoro. Observation Jedi follow the self destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. The very Nicha, Yonona Shikasa Chuch, Wanatu Nubayes, Dorcha Nubangani Honkades, the very Nicha, Yonona Shikasa Chuch, Goli Rosodish. Run the class mobiles. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teeneth. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Word of warning. Watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Sure, most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed, or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Whatever we do, I say we get the Hawk's ID signature changed while we're here. Might keep us from being a target when we enter a new system. It is not your choice, Atten. It is hers. What is it you wish to do? Well, that means finding either a bounty hunter, a ranking member of the Exchange, or someone willing to talk. None of which are too appealing. Bounty hunters in the Exchange are going to want to shoot you. And someone who is willing to talk is willing to talk to anyone. Which means trouble. The bounty is a waste of our efforts. All that matters is the Jedi. The intentions of the thugs of this moon are of no consequence. Forgive me, but these bounty hunters pose a threat to her. Their persistence is unusual. And if they're not stopped... One of them may prove lucky. I agree. They're nothing more than a distraction. But even a distraction may prove fatal at a critical moment. We must protect her. If you are so certain of your path, then do what you will. It makes no difference. It's up to you. There's bound to be someone in the sector willing to spill their guts for a credit or two. Finding a Jedi, or anyone else touched by the Force here will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult, but this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. All right, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its trust into my landing pad! Yeah? 
Well, this is the I've heard of it. Huts don't do business down there. This is exchange territory. I got a ship that's supposed to dock on this pad any hour now. What am I gonna do? Keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. If you save me to cripple me again, then you're worse than they are. What do you want with me? Well, they work for the Exchange, for a Quarren named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the Exchange. The only language the Exchange respects is money, so Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Nar Shaddaa as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. Whatever your reasons, thanks. Spare a few credits for... All right, maybe next... I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spare a few credits, maybe help another refugee in need? Forgive me, stranger, please. I beg you, do not kill me. Why did you do such a thing? Giving into your feelings over such a small matter. They would be better served elsewhere. And what would you 
मुझे Very well, but mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. Please, look, I, I already paid the exchange what I have. Uh, but I, uh, oh, look, here's the one with your credits. About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. The bounty hunters have been laying low recently. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon, with the metal and machines stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. One 
might as well move the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass, and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Such waking moments within the Force are rare, waiting for the right moment when the critical point is struck and the sound rises. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last.